What is up, you guys? My name is DJ, and I am head of the video ministry here at LifePoint Church. And we are back with another Motivation Monday. Motivation Monday is about carrying on a positive experience that you had yesterday during your amazing worship service that you had personally in your home because nobody's in church right now. And just give you that extra boost to power through the rest of your week. Now we have a little bit more different of an environment and a different vibe today. And I'm gonna make the most of this because Pastor Max is not gonna let me do this again. But anyway, let's get into today's scripture, which is Genesis 19:15. Now we all know this story, right? This is the story of Lot and his wife fleeing Sodom and Gomorrah after God is about to destroy the city. Lot is being granted favor by God for helping out the men of God who needed a place to hide from the other soldiers in the city. Sodom and Gomorrah was a place that was full of sin and evil. And I can only imagine how much sin and evil was full of that God felt like he needed to destroy the city. The men of God that was in the city was trying to get Lot to flee the city along with his wife and his daughters. And they told him to escape to the hills. And Lot was like, I'm too scared to go to the hills. Let me flee to this small little city. Can you let me flee to this small city? Ain't it funny how when God tells us to do something big, we settle for something small because we think we're not capable. That's a whole nother message. I ain't gonna go there. But the man of God was like, sure, you can flee to this small city by the name of Zoar. So Lot and his family actually made it to the town of Zoar where they were safe, where God told them to flee to. But for whatever reason, Lot's wife decided to look back at Sodom and Gomorrah as it was being destroyed. Why, right? You've already made it to this town that you was told to flee to, that you know you will be safe at, that you know you will be blessed at, but for whatever reason, you want to look back at wherever you came from. Now, if you're like me, the first time you heard this story, you're like, this girl's crazy. Why would you look back at the city that God is delivering you from? Now, as I've grown in my faith and grown in my walk with Christ, I look at the story a little bit different. Some of us, including me, when I first read the Bible, may find it very easy to judge the character of some of the people that's in the Bible. We find ourselves judging that character as if we would not make the same decisions if we was in that position, such as David spying on Bathsheba, Jonah running from the will of God and being swallowed by a whale, Lot's wife turning back to Sodom and Gomorrah and being turned into a pillar of salt. It's easy for us to judge their story because we know how their story ends. And you don't know how your story ends. But are you going to stay focused enough on what God has for you and not turn to your left or your right? Left or right? Left. This is my left. And I encourage you throughout your Bible studies this week, as you read about certain characters, find some way to relate to that character. And by finding some way to relate to that character, that's how you learn about grace. And when you learn about the grace that was given to the characters in the Bible, you learn about the grace that has been given to you. We all need grace. Maybe me more than y'all, but I know I need grace. But I tell you, until we look at characters in the Bible and see ourselves in each one of those characters, we will not be able to look at God's children and see ourselves in the love of God in each one of God's children. Message. But if you study the text closely, you'll see that Lot's wife's actions is not too much different from our own actions on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm not just talking to you on this one, I'm talking with you, because I struggle with this too. There's somebody who's watching this video, there's somebody who's talking in this video right now that has looked back when God has delivered them from something. God is trying to take you to somewhere and you keep looking back. Now mind you, it didn't say that Lot's wife looked back five times, it didn't say how long she looked back, it just said she looked back and she turned into a pillar of salt. Which means all it takes is a fraction of a time to be distracted from the vision that God has given you. There's people that have been delivered from a certain job and then they've been given a new job, but they look back and wonder, I wonder if I was supposed to take this job, right? There are people that are in amazing relationships right now, but for whatever reason, they just look back like, I wonder what my ex is doing today. My husband is amazing. He's a wonderful man of God, but I just wonder what this guy would be like if I was with him. Here on this Motivation Monday, I'm here to encourage you that God has given you a vision and you need to stay focused on that vision. Don't let anything distract you. Don't let doubt, don't let guilt, don't let sadness, don't let anger, any of that stuff distract you. Stay focused on what God has planned for you. There's someone who's watching this video right now that is in so bad of a rut that the only way you're gonna be able to get out of it is if you stay focused on the Word of God. Stay focused on what God has for you. Stay focused on your purpose and God's will for your life. That's this saying that we always say, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. But if you study Isaiah 54, you'll see that this is not a promise. This is a declaration. This is what is being declared over your life. And unless you verbally declare it, unless you spiritually declare it, weapons formed against you will prosper. 
In police and military tactics, there's this device that's called a flashbang. The flashbang in itself does no damage, so you wouldn't consider it a weapon, right? Wrong. A weapon is anything that can be used against you to harm you. While the flashbang in and of itself does not do harm to you, it does distract you from something else that is a greater harm to you. I'm here to encourage you today and to declare with you that no weapon shall prosper. This is a declaration that you must declare over you and your household every day, every moment of your life. So that way you can stay focused on the purpose and the will that God has for your life. But this has been another Motivation Monday. If you like this video, make sure you leave a comment below. Make sure you like, share with somebody, help somebody to draw nearer to God. And as Pastor Max said in yesterday's sermon, become a laborer for Christ. My name is DJ. This is Motivation Monday. Out that thing.